Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my morning skincare routine, so how I get super bright, super glowy skin. I do naturally have quite dry, sensitive skin. It can look quite dull sometimes and I do get eczema as well, especially on my face. So I'm going to show you all the products which I use in the morning time to achieve just nice, fresh and glowy skin. And I'm actually going to do it in real time with you instead of just showing you what I use and I'm just gonna get straight into it. So I even have a bowl of water and everything so I can cleanse my face and everything with you guys. So my first step is cleanser and I actually use two. So my first step is this one which is a CeraVe hydrating cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin. I've used this for years. It's amazing if you've got quite sensitive skin because it's nothing fancy but it gets the job done. If you do wear makeup day to day as well, this is really good at night for taking that off too. So I like to go in with this first because I have quite super dry skin it does make my skin really nice and hydrated. So I do this with wet skin so I'm just going to wet my face. <laughs> I'm just going to dampen my face a bit first because if I was in the shower or in the bath then this is how I would do it. And I'm just going to take one pump of my cleanser, drop it into my fingers first and then I just start massaging this all over. You could just use this if you want to, I'm just fancy and I like to use two. I just like to feel like my skin is really clean. This does make your skin just feel so soft and hydrated after you've used it. And then I just take a damp washcloth and just wipe that away. So after that step, I do like to go in with another cleanser. I'm just super bougie. This is the Ole Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I absolutely love this. It makes your skin so bright and so fresh. And I just use a tiny pea-sized amount. Put it into my fingers first and then just start to massage this all over. Always cleanse my skin twice. I don't know why, I just always have done, especially if I've got makeup on as well. Sometimes I have to cleanse like three times. But this one just makes your skin so fresh. Okay then when the damp cloth again I'm just gonna wipe away all that cleanser. If I was in the bath then again I would like splash my face with a bit of water. My skin now feels so fresh and so clean and it literally feels so smooth. I do exfoliate and use toners and things but I do them in my nighttime routine so if you want to see my nighttime routine let me know down in the comments. So after cleanser is my next step, which is serum. And I love to use a serum along with a moisturizer because I do feel like it gives me that extra boost in hydration rather than just using a moisturizer. I don't know if it's because I'm super dry, but I just like to use both together. So for my serum, I like to use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I absolutely love this because it makes my skin just so nice and bright. I started using Ole Henriksen, I think it must be over 12 months ago, they gifted me some things. And ever since then, I've just carried on using it because it just goes so nicely with my skin. Usually I was just using like CeraVe or um, La Roche-Posay products because I am dry and sensitive. They've just always been like a safe option for me. But the Ole Henriksen I feel is a bit more luxurious and a little bit more fancy and I've never been able to use like products like that before because I've always been so sensitive to them. I do also like to use a bit of tan so I will share another product which I mix in with it if I'm doing a bit of tan. So this is the Skinny Tan the face self tanning drop. Now, I don't use these every day, I would say maybe like every three days. Either in the morning or at night, I'll mix it in with my serum. And it just gives that bit of a glow like as if I've like, been out in the sun. I feel like just adding a little bit of tan also gives me the confidence like not to have to wear foundation or anything because I kind of like feel like it evens everything out of it. So I use the serum every day and then the skinny tan drops or like any face tanning drops, I'll mix with this like every three days just like for the upkeep of the tan. I use one pump of this is plenty for my skin and again I'll rub it into my fingers first and then just really lightly apply it everywhere and I don't put this underneath my eyes and you can see like how glowy it is it's absolutely insane like I really like as much glow as possible and I think that is because I am so dry and you can see like what a massive difference it makes. It looks so nice. 
So next I'm going to do my eye cream. So for that again I use Ollie Henriksen. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Anything brightening, anything glowy is what I absolutely love. Now for eye cream I always find I'm really sensitive and I don't know if it's the way that I apply it or the products that I'm using. So I literally use the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. When I apply it I go sort of on my socket bone underneath. I don't go like right underneath my eye because I feel like that way it can get into my eyes a bit and that may be why I was so sensitive and then just make sure that's all tapped in. I'm not a skincare expert, this is just like what works for me. My next step is moisturiser. This is the one I'm loving at the moment. This is the Ollie Henriksen the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. They do do a double cream as well but at the moment I'm really liking the gel cream because it's just a tiny bit lighter and because it has been quite hot and summery I feel like this is just really nice for me and just like nice and refreshing. Um, I don't feel like I need anything too like intense at the moment. My skin's doing quite well for once. So I'll take about that much. And even though it is a little bit lighter in consistency, it is so hydrating. Again, I'm just rubbing it into my fingers and then just pop this everywhere. But yeah, it's just so brightening. It feels so refreshing on the skin. It just feels so nice and like, because I don't like to wear any makeup like throughout the day I just do this routine and I don't feel like I need to like it just gives me the confidence of my skin is looking really fresh and glowing I don't always feel like I need to wear makeup which is nice because then it gives your skin a bit of a break so my only other step now which is one that I need to work on is my SPF and I know I've got fair ginger skin I need to work on applying my SPF every day and remembering because it is one thing that I always forget. So I recently picked up the this La Roche-Posay one. This is a factor 50 plus. I have to be really careful with what sunscreen I'm using on my face but because I've always loved La Roche-Posay skincare and I know they're amazing for like sensitive and eczema prone skin, I thought I'd try a La Roche-Posay one and I actually really like it. So I use two pumps. I will say that applicator is not the best Sometimes like nothing comes out and this is pretty full. Again, I'll rub it into my hands and then just work on applying this all over. And I'll just pop some down onto my chest as well. And I'll just massage this in and really work it into the skin just so it's not like sitting on the top because I don't want this to make my skin any oily throughout the day. I don't find that it does, but I know I like a glow, but I don't want to look like super sweaty. The very last step of my morning skincare routine is just any lip balm. So I'm just going to apply a bit of lip balm because I can't go anywhere without a lip balm or treatment on my lips. This is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. Okay guys, so that is my morning skincare routine. Let me know if you want an evening one as well. And also let me know what your favourite skincare products are down in the comments so I can go and check them out. And it just looks so fresh and glowy. It's so comfortable as well. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, but I know it's going to be really comfortable like throughout the day. It's not going to dry out. I really hope you did enjoy today's video. Let me know if you did down in the comments. Please give it a thumbs up as well if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week in my next one. Bye.